what's going on guys um, welcome back to the next uh, video on learning uh, algorithms my name is QD Yazdani and you guys are watching my channel Cryoword so in this video we're gonna see the analysis of algorithms what is analysis of algorithms and um, in the next video we are gonna talk about the running times we're gonna see what is running times so first before we know what running times is we should know that the analysis of algorithms what is the analysis of al algorithm is in algorithms, we first focus on analysis of uh, algorithms. Some uh, people uh, pronounce it an analysis, whatever you guys pronounce it, but I pronounce it an analysis of algorithm. In algorithms, we first focus on analysis of algorithms, and second, we focus on design of algorithm. In order to finish a task, a solution needs to be developed. This is called the designing of algorithm. Before we do any algorithm design, we must know the techniques of analyzing algorithms. So, as I said here, analyzing algorithm, and the second we focus on design of algorithm. So, before we go in to do any task of uh, designing algorithm, we must know how to analyze the algorithm. So, analyzing of algorithm is the first step that we learn and we do. The simple reason for analyzing an algorithm is to discover its characteristics in order to evaluate its suitability for various applications or compare it with other uh, or compare it with other algorithms for the same application. We want to know how long an implementation of a particular algorithm will run on a particular computer. The analysis of algorithms can help us understand it better and can suggest informed improvements. Algorithms tend to become shorter, simpler, and more elegant during analysis period. So long story short, in this video, in this slide, uh, algorithms, we first focus on uh, analysis of algorithms and second, we focus on design of algorithms. So we must know how to analyze uh, algorithms. And as, as I mentioned here, we must know the techniques of analyzing algorithms, how we do analyzing the algorithms. And we wanna, when we analyze computer, then we wanna compare the algorithms. All right, so we're coming on the next slide. We particularly focus on performance, running time, on how to make things efficient, stable, and fast. So as I said before, we're looking for performance and running time. So, and the running time is very important. How long uh, one operation takes. If you do algorithms, how long it takes. So when you guys are starting a computer, how long it takes for the computer to load? How long it takes for the software to start running or to start load? How long it takes to do particular tasks? Say if you guys um, wanna uh, watch a movies and uh, you put a CD in a CD player and the movie starts loading, how long the, the software or whatever is inside the DVD or your computer the software starts loading the movie and how long it takes for the movie to run or if you guys going on a search engine how long is search engine uh, takes uh, uh, brings your query or if you guys want to go on a website how long the website loads so they all comes down to performance and running time how long one uh, particular task or one algorithm takes to analyze an algorithm is to measure and describe its performance given that we have the resources uh, and if it's practical Algorithm analysis provides a basis for comparing different algorithmic solutions to the same problem, ranking them by performance and identifying which are most efficient. In short, analysis of algorithm is the theoretical study of computer program performance and resource usage and we pay greater attention to algorithmic performance and speed. What's more important than performance and speed and how to estimate the time required for a program? How to reduce the running time of a program from months and years to a fraction of a second. Time is critical, speed is fun, everyone likes faster computers, faster jets and faster machines. So this all comes down to the time. Time is money. If you all know that time is money, 
where uh, in the business community in the computer science everywhere we say that time is very critical time is money so no one wants to sit in front of the computer which takes like uh, for say 10 minutes people wants to spend money for a better quality say people wants to go for apple instead of windows because apple loads fast people go for uh, say wants to buy android mobile because android mobile loads fast and android mobile is fast faster than say windows mobile for everyone for people for uh, for all of us time is critical because time is money so we comes down for uh, we focus on performance and running time on how to make things efficient stable and fast and uh, to analyze algorithm is to measure the and describe its performance and as i said here time is critical time is money speed is fun so everyone likes to speed so people go for a car race because there is a speed so people go for a air show because there is a speed people likes to watch fighter jets because there's they uh, there is a speed involved Every, everyone likes faster computers faster jets and faster machines so when it comes to supercomputers or any other computer that is very very powerful and it's mind-blowing it has a mind-blowing speed there is not even a single person on this planet earth that say look i don't like this computer everyone likes computers and everyone likes the fastest computers the people you don't want to sit in front of the computer and a computer takes 10 minutes to load you want to sit in a front of a computer that your computer takes less than one minute or say 50 seconds or 30 seconds or say 20 seconds to load you don't want to buy uh, say tv if you want to start the tv and it takes a long time so and you don't want to sit in a car that crawls like a slug so you don't want you you want to sit in a fast car everyone likes the fast cars People likes, uh, tend to like a faster computer and faster jets and faster machines. People likes to go to Formula One race because there is a speed involved. People get thrilled of the speed. The speed is thriller. The speed is thrill. The speed is fun. So people likes Google because Google is fast. People likes Apple because Apple is fast. People likes a lot of uh, websites. Uh, websites like uh, the most fastest websites. People like faster websites and faster computers. So. Uh, in algorithm we focus mainly on performance and running time so and in the next and in the next video we're going to see what is running time and we're going to see all the running times in a graph we're going to visualize running time the analysis of algorithm is essential in order to judge whether it can be implemented so we see if whether if these algorithms can be implemented or not and it may consider time and space or both at the same time we may con we may consider time and space or both at the same time google's main focus for search engine is performance speed and user friendliness also google tend to rank websites that are user friendly and lost fast millisecond counts okay so the last the last bit here the google what google's uh, what why everyone likes google because we all uh, the reason everyone likes google because the google search engine is just like another search engine but it has a performance it's a very good performance under stressful situations say uh, if there is a million people searching at the same time it can gives everyone it can perform very well under stress under under strain or under heavy traffic and uh, the speed is the main uh, factor in uh, google performance so google is the reason Google is very famous is because of the performance performance and the speed is a main f factor inside, inside the performance because it's fast and also speed and user friendliness they're also both factors in performance when we see that the Google is performing very well it means that Google's have the speed and user friendliness Google likes to things make complex things very simple for everyone user to say uh, see and uh, use so Google targets uh, general public. They don't like to make the things very complicated. They like to make the things very easy and very e very simple to understand for people. Say say uh, uh, mobile or tablet, uh, Android mobile or tablet, very easy. Even a child which knows how to touch, they can they can learn very easy. Even a guy with uh, 90 years old who never use a computer, they know how to come and uh, look for the call phone calls and looking for the. For, for say Facebook or Twitter or reading reading news because it's a user friendly 
and the reason uh, windows at some point was very down because your windows at some point wasn't user friendly because use windows it just like uh, uh, like to sometimes you windows makes the things very complicated as uh, simple things very complicated but in um, opposite with the google uh, google is that uh, they like to make things very simple very very friendly user friendly and they very make it easy accessible for everyone to use also google tend to rank websites that are user friendly and low fast and if you look at the google search google or the google the google's the ranking system works with the, when the websites are very user friendly and is trustworthy and tends to have a lot of uh, authority and um, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what what I mean by authority when we goes to the search engine. What I mean by authority. So there is a something called authority in search engine. So when the websites, how much the website is trustworthy and how much websites got authority and hold, and how much how the websites performs loading fast. If it's loading fast, and we're talking loading fast mean milliseconds. You're talking about the seconds. We are not talking about minutes. If it's if your website takes like a, about a minute to load, then it's gonna be out of the Google. I guarantee you, it's gonna be out of the Google, and the Google don't like websites that are takes like a more than a minute. So even they don't they don't want to show the website in their search engine, because the Google is gonna scan the websites and see how long the websites gonna how the websites gonna perform. Uh, I mean the speed, how long the websites gonna load. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. If uh, with the next video we're gonna go on the technical part, we're gonna see that running time. What is the running time? Then then we're gonna go on the big old notation, then omega notation and theta notation, and we're gonna go on upper bound and lower bound, and uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna see a lot of uh, different parts of the algorithms. All right, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any question or comment, leave in comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.